Hi Libra, welcome to your week ahead tarot scope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Your key to the week this week is the Magician card. Uh, if you are celebrating as well, I just want to say a happy damn birthday to you. I truly hope you have a wonderful solar return. Remember to fill the day of your birthday with a little bit of everything that you want this entire year ahead to have in it for you. Um, especially with a week like this, right? When you've got the Magician card, you are the magician. This is the week where the wand is firmly in your hand. And if you are having your birthday this week, imprint the universal energies with everything that you want this whole year to bring you, right? So little token things. The thing that I will say to you as well, because it is the magician card, this week um, it's really important that you don't, uh, don't promise more than you can deliver, all right? Like that's the caveat that you've got with the magician card. Sometimes when, you know, because this card is obviously Mercury ruled and so sometimes it has that element of, um, <laughs> you know, it'll, it, it'll, it'll overextend or overpromise. Um, the other part of this, because it is the magician after all, uh, this is about you being very focused on something that you're putting out into the world. There's something that you are chasing and this week it's like you're really pulling all of your personal power together so that you can go after that thing with nothing standing in your way or holding you back. This is a really great week as well to communicate what it is that, yeah, to communicate maybe to the world, to colleagues, to other people, what it is that you really perceive when you see yourself at the top all right the other thing with this card as well it can be um this because this is a great card for public speaking or anything like that if this is something that you want uh, in your life or it's something that you're aiming to do use this card as your archetype carry it with you sleep with it under your pillow petition it you know ask the card like literally you know the magician i need you to bring this into my life with that said, uh, I just want to say a massive heartfelt thank you so much to those of you that purchased my 2023 Astro Tower Scopes. They're bigger than bigger than last year, bigger than the year before that. Like there's so much more in them this year, including a 20, 19 to or more plus page document of astrological knowledge for the big transits of 2023. There's also on top of that more knowledge, more information. You get in numerology, you get tarot as a 12 month breakdown, which is like a, it's a 90 minute video once you include the astro um, the uh, numerology and on top of that as if that wasn't enough you're also getting the eclipse overview this year it's like a 15 16 minute segment to that video that i will not be releasing on any of my other platforms so if you're not on there then you're not getting it all right um, if you want to get yours you can do so on the link in the description box below they're 4.99 a piece or you can get the bundle for 24.99 and the discount still stands from last year so if you buy your sun moon and Ascendant, you'll get like a small discount. The way that you do that or the instructions to make that work is in the description box below. Thank you so much for allowing me to sell things to you every so often. Let's get into it. For your actions and options, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your actions and options, you've got the King of Pentacles. So for a lot of you this could be an interaction with a, uh, a financier uh, it could be somebody that is investing in your company if you have one this could be conversations around money finances and resources for some of you this could also be a week where you start to hear about promotions or being uh, put forward for something that really elevates your status the King of Pentacles as an actions and options card basically suggests that whatever is available to you this week has the potential to take you into the position of the magician. This is about really looking at the skill set that you have right now and asking yourself, how do I present this in the best way? And more importantly, where is my target market? Um, if you're employed by somebody else, this could literally be like promotions and stuff like that. The King of Pentacles is usually an earth sign male, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo coupled with the magician, this is somebody that has the potential to make a difference in your life, whether this is materially, financially, maybe this is somebody that's being a cheerleader for you. Um, what I will also say, because it's in your actions, so this is about what you do, you have to bring your A game. Whatever shows up for you this week by the way of uh, opportunities or um, invites, 
you have to bring it, all right? Like none of this like, oh, you know, I'm gonna do a good job. Like if you're not bringing your A plus game, not just your A game, if you're not bringing your A plus game, don't bother, all right? Just don't bother, I'm gonna tell you straight up. For your communications and conversations, you have the temperance card with the magician card, all right? So you're potentially having a lot of very deep, very uh, potentially very spiritual conversations this week. I am going to be honest with you, when it comes to communication, the temperance card can bring a little bit of that drama, all right? And you've got it here with the magician card, so it's really important that you don't allow uh, some of what you say to be taken out of context, but also that you don't selectively hear what you want to hear in a conversation. When in all of your dealings, when it comes to communication this week, you have to be really, uh, you know, have your ears open and communicate very clearly. Uh, but there could be some really powerful, very spiritual conversations that are taking place. This also suggests that through the conversations that you're having this week, the path or the avenue that you're taking towards what it is that you desire most opens up for you, all right? It's like a divine light is sh shone on the path ahead because you're paying attention. When it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, I actually really love this. Um, it's almost like, so for those of you that are studying to do things that you need a license for, being a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer, like whatever, you know, when you, you need like the, the thing that says you can practice or that you can do this, you'll pass with flying colors. I have no doubts about that whatsoever. Some of you are potentially interacting with healthcare professionals or the healthcare world as well. Um, what also comes up here with the uh, temperance card for those of you that are employed by somebody else this is a remedial action that's taken on the advice of what you would consider a powerful person potentially somebody that's like a guru it's like information that you're given allows you to adjust or adapt something so that you can you know make the right path forward this is you know true wisdom is knowledge applied, all right? And this week it looks like that's what you're doing. When it comes to your, um, those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, there is help available to you this week, but it comes at a cost. Not like, you know, the everything comes at a cost, sort of, it's not like a Faustian deal, but it will come at a, you know, you, you'll have to shell out for it. I gotta be honest, it does look like a good shout. Um, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is about you figuring out what the next purpose is for like this week you're likely to have some very deep very profound very spiritual experiences for some of you this could take you down memory lane of when you were working when you were in the work sphere and for those of you specifically for those of you that are not working but you are looking for work one of these deep conversations could have you realize you know what the reason I haven't found a job is because I don't wanna go back to work for somebody else. And if I don't wanna go back to work for somebody else and I know I have to find a way to support myself, what does that look like? And suddenly, the idea for your business or how you step out of this, uh, you know, sorry to say, but apathy, uh, how that comes about, it suddenly becomes possible, it becomes clear. For your love and relations, look at that. I'm so jelly, you've got the Ace of Cups, look at that. And with the Temperance card as well, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, that have had issues, challenges, or worries around your relationship, that is heartfelt communication. That is you and your significant other figuring your shit out for long enough to really get back to that, you know what, I love you, I wanna spend my life with you, this is us, all right? Like this, this is mending, it's healing something, but it's through powerful and deep words or conversations. For those of you that are single, I mean, if you're meeting someone this week, you will know because this person has presence, they've got power. Any court card that shows up with the magician, you even if this person didn't say a freaking word, you would know they were in the room. This is someone that has charisma, power, somebody that has that palpable like, you know, like they know they've got it and they're not gonna brag about it because they don't need to, right? Like this is, and it's usually somebody that's very skilled, very gifted, very intelligent. Um, you've got the temperance card here. So I am gonna say you may not have, you may not be the only, um, contender for this person's affections 
but you will be the only one that's successful. And in that case, who gives a shit, right? <laughs> Don't matter how many others are in the game if I won it. <laughs> For, yeah, I want to be a leader this week. For your money and materials, you've got the Four of Swords. Okay, so when it comes to big financial deals where you're having to put money into things, the Four of Swords is a hold back and wait. And I kind of feel like whatever you're going to put money into, and there is something that you'll need to spend on, it's like you can get a better deal if you wait a little bit longer. So if this is something that you has already been on hold and you've been like, why isn't it working? When is it moving? All the rest of it. It's because the timing isn't right. And if I had to give you a time sequence, so the Four of Swords is usually uh, Libra season, but the Four of Swords would literally be like the end of Libra season. So this would be from the 17th to the end, right? Um, also, because you've got the temperance card right above it, I'm almost loath to say that whatever you're trying to do now, you may get better results and more for your money in the time of Sagittarius, which is probably, uh, you know, it's like two months from now. So if, if it's something that you can push back, I would because you'll get more for your money later. Um, and I wonder if that's because the eclipses are coming up and they're gonna do a whole load of crazy stuff. Um, it could also be uh, when it comes to your um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, take your rest now. All right, like this week, you're literally laid up. It's like nothing is moving, but there's big things happening at the same time. If that is the case, like I said, take your rest now because the thing with the Four of Swords. And this happens to everybody, right? And I've, I noticed this for myself like nearly 10 years ago at this point. When it shows up, it really is a message to slow down because it means you're about to get very busy, all right? So the lull that you're feeling, take it, use it, get that rest, get that recuperation, you know, get back to being hydrated and well rested uh, so that you can get into it when it starts. When it comes to your home and environment, the Four of Swords, I wouldn't be surprised, especially with the Temperance card and the Magician and the Ace of Cups, I wouldn't be surprised if you have a guest or, and it's kind of like, you know, what was only gonna be a week turns into two weeks, turns into three, turns into four. There's something about this where the time that this person or thing was supposed to come for, it ends up being a little bit longer. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.